Hello, my name is Kitty de Geerskeeter from Transgroom and today I'd like to talk to you about combs and everything you need to know, how to use them, when to use them, what's the difference, teething, uh, how long, how short, everything you need to know about all the combs on the market. Mainly we use combs to check our work after our brushing. After you brushing, you go through the coat with a comb to make sure there's no more mats. Another way we use the combs is before scissoring. So then we take it in our hand and we go in circular movements and we lift like the coat and then we scissor. Another way to use the combs is a very extra fine comb for like taking out undercoat and to make sure all the wool is out of the coat so it's not everywhere in your house. Another way for using combs is with a very extra fine little eye comb getting out all the dried up mucus in the dog's eyes. It's very easy and it's very efficient. We also use combs for back combing and teasing. This is for terriers for like a West Highland White Terrier, the head for making it stand up and this is good for separating the comb for top knots or for wrapping. And last but not least, the flea comb. This flea comb has teeth that are so narrow to each other they are touching. So if you comb with this comb, if they are fleas or lice or even flea feces, you will get them out with this comb. If you take a comb and you have a long haired breed, it's not to go into the coat and pull, it's to start at the points and work up. You can hold the comb however you like. Be careful when you are combing not to push too much, be gentle and be careful you don't hurt the dog's skin with the pins of the comb. So what kinds do we have? We have the kinds with the handles. It's very easy to hold and it's a habit. People who have handled combs like to use handled combs. And then we have without handles. And this you just hold between your thumb and your fingers. And then of course we have the needle combs, which you, it's not really a handle. And then we have the rotating teeth comb. This comb is made for combing without damaging the coat because when you comb and there's like a little tangle, the pins will start to rotate and you will gradually get out of the coat without damaging it. Combs have different lengths. We have a very small comb and we have a very large comb. We use the smaller combs for the smaller dogs with shorter hair and we use the larger ones for larger dogs with longer hair. This is the difference. Like if you have a small poodle with medium coat growth, you can use this one. If you have a giant poodle and its, it's coat is long, you need to use this one. Let's speak about pins. Some combs have conical pins. The point is not sharp but fine enough to go deep into the comb while you are combing. This is good for professional use. Some combs have thick pins and this is perfect for pets. It's also very safe to use because the pins are thick and rounded and you can't damage the skin so very much. And the length of the pins is also very important. If you are doing a miniature poodle, it's fine to use this type of comb with this length of pins. But if you are using a giant poodle or a dog with a big coat, with a long coat, you need to use pins which are very long and a bit more spacious. And we also have extra long pins used for very long coats. Let's talk about the spacing. The spacing between the pins determines how fast or how easy you get through the coat. Now, if you are brushing your pet or your dog 
and you need to see if you still have mats in it, the best thing to use is a medium kind first and slowly work yourself from the tips up, slowly, slowly, and then you can go more up and more up and see if there's any more mats. Be gentle. And then you can use a more finer one again to do the same thing to make sure all the mats and tangles are away. And now let's speak about the different materials and at the same time prices. Some combs are in bronze. Here I have the Greenhound and the Yento comb who are bronze and they are highly chromed or double chromed. They are very easy in maintenance, they will not rust and they are a bit more expensive and for professional use. Then we have a bronze comb coated in teflon. This is the Greyhound anti-static. So most combs are made in metal. This is a metal comb with a double chrome finishing. And then we have aluminium combs. These combs are aluminium backing and the pins are stainless steel, but the stainless steel is highly polished. And then we have a carbon comb. This comb is carbon, it's feather light and it's also anti-static. And then some combs have the wooden handle or a rubbery anti-slip handle. And this is also an anti-slip like There's a part of plastic and there's another part of anti-slip. This was Kitty for Transgroom TV. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, write them down below. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.